In this video, we're going to focus on how we can get, for example, our array here, this information here, converting them into a pie chart here with numbers. You can see a female six and a male four, and they are matching exactly with the array that we have here. So let's start look how we can do this. So let's start look how to convert string arrays into numbers in chart.js. So the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, get our border template, which you can find here on chartjs 3com getting started. And this specific link you can find as well in the description box. So once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code. Copy this and then put it in there. And once we did that, oh, by the way, if you want to understand this chunk of code, make sure you watch this video here. So once we did that, I'm going to cut out this title here, put it here. Save, refresh. There we are. Let's convert this to a pie chart. Save, refresh. There we are. And of course, let's remove the scales. We don't have a scale in the pie chart. Save that, refresh. So next, we had male and female. And this is very important. Basically, this question is something that's quite related to a database. When you get a database with array with, for example, the male and female information, they want to convert them into a number format. So how many male, how many female? So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, I'm going to say here, uh, male, female, or let's do it uh, uh, female and male. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the second color is blue and the first color is red. So red stands for female and then male is blue. All right, so then we have this. Then we can say here, genders, to remove everything else we don't need all all the other colors just only the main ones so let's do it like this first save that refresh all right so now we have this and you can see here female male beautiful now what i want to do is i want to make sure that these numbers are based on an array so i'm going to assume this array came from mysql or from any other database and you get all these values like this let's say this constant gender array and then within here, we're going to just build our array. We can say here, female, or let's grab this female and male. I guess we can do it like that. I just copy this. One, two, three. So we have four, four. And finally, the last one will be female. And of course, it's a string value. So this string value must be converted into a number format, how many items of female we have. So this is very important. So how do we do this? Well, basically what you can do here is a uh, build a very simple function here. We say here the let and let's say count gender to count the amount of male or female we have. And then what you can do here is a uh, callback functionality. And this callback functionality will basically filter the array with a certain condition. So what we're going to do here is we can say here the array so that will be one of our parameters. And the second parameter will be the, uh, I guess, the specific value or the, the gender that we want to, let's call gender that we want to uh, distinguish, male or female. So this array is eventually this entire item here that we're going to use the constant for. The gender will be whatever we specify. And if we specify a specific item, one of these, it will search within that array male or, or, male or female. So let me show you this. So then what we're going to do here is I'm going to return this. And what I'm going to return is an array. Uh, or sorry, our, yeah, that's the array. Yes, that's this one. And then we say it dot filter. We're going to use the filter. And the filter will be the number. Um, and this number will be the number equal to strict specific value. And the specific value is the gender. Quite simple here. And then we say it dot length. So what will happen is it is filtering this entire item and then it will eventually basically remove all the other. So if I say here female, it will show here all the female items and then eventually calculate the length of that. So how many items are in there? So now we can just test this by doing a console log. And then we just say the following. We're going to say here count gender. And this count gender will have two items. First of all, the array, the gender array. And secondly, the condition itself, which will be uh, the gender, let's say here, male. If I do this, save, let's see what we get. If you open up the developer tab, you can see here we get four male 
as a value. And it's correct because if I remove this, you will see here four times the array itself, four times mail, mail, mail. So that's basically what we did. We filtered the array and then we just get here the dot length. Very straightforward, nothing fancy. So now we have this, you say, okay, how can we apply this here? Well, we can just do it in here, put it in here for the male or, well, sorry, first one was female. And the next one is male. Of course, very important. If you are capitalized here, it might not work or it will exclude it because it's not equal. It's equal strict here. So you could do equal to make sure that you cover everything, but equal strict is probably a better way, but just make sure that everything here is identical in small caps, high of a large caps, whatever you use. And then you say here the search would be, this one must be matching. Anyway, save this again, refresh. Now we should see here five female and we have four male. Let's make sure that this is correct by adding additional females here. So we have now six female, if I refresh, we have six female and we have four male. And that's basically it. So this is how you can do it if you get string values, but they're very consistent in your database so you can just count those certain values and how many times they are repeated over and then you just calculate the length of them and that's very straightforward how to do it so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you say well all right this is very interesting but i want to use it with mysql basically this part is a part that's very matching with this mysql database connection series this chart here so basically the chart here is mysql database series if you get all of these together you you combine that with this and then you can start to calculate nicely and start to show values. So I'm going to recommend this series as well if you want to have them all combined.